Hello guys, I'm the Dark Frog and welcome to a tutorial how we can enable creative mode like features in survival mode. So as you probably know, creative mode features are currently pretty limited compared to the survival mode features. And it would be nice to just, you know, have a creative world but in a style of survival world and it's actually possible. Further I'll start by creating a new game. Quick disclaimer though, I would highly suggest that you use it in a separate world as so you don't break anything in your actual world because it could potentially break stuff at that point which I point out later in the video. Also keep in mind that when you have this enabled, you can't join your friends and your friends cannot join you unless they have the same modification applied, so keep this in mind. Also, the first person that I've seen anywhere discovered this goes by the nickname question mark. I've seen in Fenworks Discord server, so credit for discovering that probably goes to him. I don't know anyone else who discovered it earlier. However, after hearing about this, I searched for it in the files myself and found it myself. However, it wasn't very hard though, so most of the credit goes to him. Alright, here we are in a fresh world. As you can see, I have normal survival inventory there are only a few commands as you can see only four actually which aren't very helpful in any way and as you can also see we get burned we get damaged don't have god mode anything like that we also can delete some of the stuff like of course there are some parts we can just delete but most of it we cannot so, now I'll show you how you can enable create like features. So obviously the first thing you're going to do is exit your game, because you don't want it to be running when you're messing around. So the first thing you're going to do is bring up Steam, here we go. Now right click on Scrap Mechanic, Manage, Browse Local Files, which, sh which should bring up this folder right here. Now, we are messing with the files, but only a tiny bit, so don't be afraid to do that. Nothing bad should happen. So then navigate to survival, scripts, game, and find survival game that Lua. Now, you can either skip ahead to my tutorial on what you can exactly edit to get whatever combination you want, or you can bring up one of the already edited files that I prepared for you, then you can find down in the description. So, there are a few things that we can change. For example, you can remove restrictions, which will allow us to remove some parts which we normally cannot. There's the default backup file, in case you want to return to normal. We have just the creative inventory, we have just the developer commands, and we also have the complete package, which is removed restrictions, uh, enabled creative inventory and enabled commands. So first of all, let's go ahead and enable restrictions. It's very simple. All we gotta do is take this file, copy it, and paste in here, and replace the file in the destination. So now let's launch the scrap mechanic to see the effect. So here we are now in our fresh world. So basically, what we did was disable restrictions. So this should allow us to do some interesting stuff in here. For example, we can remove this part of the wall, as you can see, which we know, which we couldn't just moments ago. We can remove this thing, which we actually get to our inventory, surprisingly. Oh well. And there's also some other stuff that we can remove, like this part of the wall, this, these blocks right here, this... Pretty much a whole chunk of the entire thing. Remove the floor. There's so much. It obviously breaks the game a little bit, but it's a cool thing to have in case you're interested in it. Okay, so now I'll get rid of all of these items and show you the next thing on the list. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to show you is the creative inventory. So, um, from the package that I prepared for you, go to create the inventory and copy this file again into this folder, replacing the file obviously just like the last time. Now we can launch the game and check the results. 
All right, so we are now in the world. As you can see, the star only just dropped over there. It's still here. Now that we installed this, however, we cannot remove anything from this ship anymore because we changed the file. However, what we can do now is, as you can see, when we press E to open our inventory, we have all kinds of stuff. All the parts, all the blocks, and all this stuff available in the game. So, for example, I can spawn myself the master battery. My frog is croaking right now. I'm not sure if you can actually hear that. Oh, well. I'm also going to spawn myself some buckets with water. Now, keep in mind when using that, this inventory isn't in the game normally for a reason. And that is because it's not 100% stable, especially when you're switching back and forth from normal from normal survival inventory to creative inventory and back and forth and so on. This could potentially cause problems, so I would recommend not doing that. But as you can see, it works perfectly fine most of the time. Some stuff may not work in the first hotbar, so you may have to switch to another one. Some stuff may work only in the first hotbar. You will ha it is a little bit finicky, but it's worth it, I think. It's but again, I advise you to do it in a separate world, not to ruin your normal world. And also, you can use it to also cheat the game, which I wouldn't recommend by just, you know, getting yourself um, some garments. For example, you can get an epic garment, take it, you can take a dress bar, there we go. And you can just easily plop the dress bot down and use it. However, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to ruin the game for myself. And again, I would advise you don't cheat as well. Alright, so now let's check out the second to last feature that we have in this pack. And that feature are the developer commands. So once again, just copy this file and paste it in here, replace it. And Lamb scrap mechanic to check if it works. Alright, so we are now back in the world. As you can see, we have a normal survival inventory right now. So we can only place one of these, for example, and we can't just pick these up, like into our inventory. But anyway, now if we do slash help, as you can see, we have a lot of different commands. So, for example, we can do slash gate link and we get ourselves a gate link gun. However, we don't have any ammunition for that. And you can experiment with different commands, but again, I would also suggest that you do it in a separate world, just so we don't break anything. So, a few cool commands are, for example, slash god, which enables god mode, which basically makes it immortal. So, I can walk into this fire, and I'm completely fine. I can't starve, I, can't, I just can't die, in fact. So, there's also the command slash die, which would normally kill you, but this doesn't work if you have god mode on. So if we now disable god mode, as you can see, it works. There we go. Another really cool command is actually slash unlimited. So this actually enables the creative like inventory, which is really cool. And you can also switch it off by typing in slash limited. Now it, it's not like that. So, you can experiment with this as well, however, again, just a reminder, because it is hard to fix if it does break, do, I wouldn't cheat on the items with the unlimited inventory in your actual survival world, because you can, for example, end up with 3 lifts, 2 hammers, 5 spot guns, and those are kind of hard to get rid of sometimes. Okay, so now we can test our last option which is everything enabled at once okay so i'm pretty sure you know how this goes by now just go to complete package and again copy this file paste it in here replace and launch scrap mechanic all right so we are now in the world as you can see we have the unlimited inventory right off the bat we have all the commands and we can also remove stuff off the ship once we find one of those parts there we go as you can see we can also place those down of course so this is very cool of 
course, I don't have God mode enabled. There we go. All right, so we had the fun, but let's say now we want to disable that and just play normal game or play with your friends in multiplayer. So there are two ways you can go around this. First one is go to default, and just like before when installing, just copy this file in here and replace it. And the second one is go to Steam, right click on Scrap Mechanic, Properties, Local Files, and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. As you can see, one file failed to validate and it will be reacquired. So, what Steam will do now is basically take this file, remove it, and download it again, as you can see right here. Although, keep in mind that this process takes significantly more time, so if you don't want to wait, it's better just to go again in the files and replace it yourself. Alright, so now that the verification of the files is done, you can now play to check if everything is alright. Okay, so we are now in the world. As you can see, we have normal inventory. We actually don't have any tools, as you can see. And that is because of what I told you earlier. This can cause problems, so that's why I would advise against using this in your actual survival world. We also don't have any special commands. As you can see, we only have the four basic ones. And we cannot remove anything inside the ship, for example. Alright, so as you can see, now we have our game back to normal. So now, in case you want to mess with the farm by yourself, I will show you how you can do that. Alright, so that, that we're in the desktop, go to this location again. Survival game and open it with some kind of text editor. You can, I would suggest using Notepad++, but you can use even normal Notepad and it should work fine. Anyway, here is the file in Notepad++, which makes it way easier to read. So, these two things at the beginning are the first two things that you can enable. So, for example, enable restrictions is if you can, for example, destroy parts of your ship and stuff like that. Stuff that you aren't supposed to do and they are blocked normally but for developer reasons developers left themselves a way to do that. So if we change it to false now if we save it we are we should be able to destroy parts of our ship. The same goes for limited inventory up here. If you switch it to false now we will have creative like unlimited inventory. Another thing is down here, so basically there is like this whole bunch of commands, really hard to miss. And just above is an if statement, so basically what it does is it checks. And if this thing right here is set to true, if its value is true, then it allows all of that. So basically what you're gonna do is set it to true by for example inserting 1 equals 1, so it checks if 1 equals 1, which obviously it does, so this is true, then it enables all of that. And there's also a bunch of other stuff that you can find down here, so if you want to experiment by yourself, go ahead. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video, remember to leave a thumbs up if you like it, if you have any questions or anything, just add me in my Discord server, in the description, anywhere where I can see it. That's it for today, I was Dark Frog and see you in another one. Bye!